guys, I hate to break it to you, but if my bot says that you have a two inch shrimp, well, my bot never lies. Hey guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i'm kat if you guys are new here and i do streaming advice and stuff like that and today i'm going to be getting into how you can go and set up really fun commands using a bot for your stream also please ignore how crusty my room is i celebrated my 21st birthday over the weekend so yes there are mickey mouse cheez -Its. yes or no goldfish crackers yes this is a random easel from a bob ross painting stream there's random gifts in the back pog thank you everybody who got me gifts for my birthday by the way but yeah so like please oh also my hair is purple that also happened on the bob ross painting stream but anyways i'm gonna get straight into this video okay so one way you can go and elevate your stream and take your stream to a new level is by having fun commands but besides having fun commands there are also basic commands such as you know the shout out command and stuff like that that you should go and have in your stream just to go and take your stream to a whole different level so i'm going to get started with how you can go set up commands using stream labs and again this applies for any bot um system that works with twitch like nightbot etc i just personally use stream labs cloudbot i also use nightbot but for other things but the concepts are generally the same so here is my stream labs and if we just look on the left hand side we want to go under cloudbot and if it's not already enabled, you want to make sure you turn on this little switch thing so that it's green. Uh, that means that it is enabled and you have to go and add CloudBot into your uh, Twitch. And don't forget, again, like it says here, you need to mod Streamlabs in your chat by typing slash mod Streamlabs. Once you get all these set up, then you can start and using commands. So here are examples of commands that I have in my stream. I have a ton of commands. But first things first, we're going to start with the most basic, which I would say is the shout out command. So first and foremost, I'm using stream labs. So the things that I type are relevant to stream labs. But the way commands work for any bot that you use is there will be preset text and then there are variables that would come and pull the information for said thing. And I know it's a little, it doesn't make any sense right now, but um, let me go a little bit more in depth into trying to explain it. If you guys are, if any of you guys know how to code, um, it's the same thing for a variable pretty much. So for instance, let's look at this one right here. It is in this curly brackets user dot URL. So what this does is it will replace that variable with the user's streaming platform. So if you were to at somebody instead of, um, the squiggly brackets being user.url, it would go and pull the user, the Twitch URL of that person you at and paste that in place of the user.url squiggly thing. So if you click this, you can expand it and it would give an example of what this does. So right here it says um, user.name, which pulls the person's username and then streams over at, which is preset text. This preset text bracket will not change. So streams over at, as long as you just type it regularly, doesn't change anything. And then squiggly bracket user.url, this variable will pull that person's URL. So this is an example of how this variable works. It's a little bit tricky to get used to at first, but hopefully if you see some of the commands that I've set up, you can kind of get more familiar with how to use these usernames and stuff or these variables and stuff like that. And again, this works with any bot system. They all have their own unique variables, but they will all correspond to the same thing. So if you were to make um, this command in Nightbot, for instance, the variables, so the stuff in the squiggly brackets would be different, but the concept is still the same. First, a variable that will pull the person's username and then, you know, basic text and then a variable that pulls their URL. So for my shout out command, I'm using the variables target.name because that way it will target, it will pull the name of the person that I at. So to use this command, I would type like shout out at, I don't know, Cat Leante, which is me. And then I, the person that is added, will be the target. So it will pull my name, my URL, and the game that I was last playing. So to set up a command, first you need to go and set what you need to type for a response to be triggered. So generally shout out commands, you could do for instance exclamation mark shout out, but um, I'm very lazy and has a lot of letters to type. So I like to abbreviate to exclamation mark SO, which is what most people do. 
And then the response will be the response that is prompted the moment you type this command and the response will be given by the bot you have in chat. Or for this, it would be CloudBot. I have messed around with the message. You can do whatever you would like. I guess just don't directly copy me because then it'll be a little bit sus, but you know, do whatever you want, right? So I have go check out the amazing and then variable target name so this will pull that person's name and then over at um the your their url and then they are playing and then what game they're playing so when you're making a shout out command i recommend having those three things the person's name their url so people can go check them out and what game they are playing now reply in you want to make sure that it replies in chat which will pull up in your twitch chat and then permission what permission does is it, it it limits who can use this command. So I have it set so only moderators can use the shout out command, which I highly recommend. You don't want randos in chat using the shout out command because people are going to self promo themselves. But you can change it to regulars, which is everybody in your chat, subscribers only, moderators or streamers. So only I would be able to use the command. Now, once you have it set up, you hit confirm and there is your shout out command. And then another command that I highly recommend everybody have is a socials command, where if you type exclamation mark socials or whatever you would like to title it, um, this one is simpler. It does not require using any variables. You just have all of your socials linked. And instead of just having only links, I like to have a little thing at the top that will also say cat socials, just so it doesn't look like it's just a random crap post of links. And then I use a little bit of fancy text right here, which you can get if you just look up fancy text generator it will it's the first thing that comes up and then you can just type like tiktok or something and then i just go and copy and paste one of these fancy texts again i recommend that if you're using a fancy text to not use something like this or like this these are very hard to read for people who don't have good eyes so i recommend using something that is like easier to read sans syrup so maybe something like this or something something like this or like this these are way easier to read but so i just have this and then if i type the command exclamation mark socials it will pull up all of my social media so again reply in chat and give permissions to everybody and you should do this for all of your individual socials as well so not only do i have a socials command that will pull up my socials i have one specifically for my twitter i have one for my tiktok instagram some other ones and my discord channel as well because i you know want people to go and pull up my discord channel now getting into the fun commands which is my shrimp command for instance i have have a similar one for brain cells as well and what this command does is it's rngs a random size for your shrimp and the way this works is we're using the command user.name because it will pull the information of the person who used the command so again if i were to use the command it would say cat Liente's shrimp is da 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 but let's say i don't know somebody like pokemane i don't know where to use this command it would say pokemane shrimp is random uh, dot whatever. So the difference between the user dot name and target dot name is shrimp. You don't have to add anybody to use the command. All you have to do is type exclamation mark shrimp and it will output a result. Whereas if I were to use target dot name, I would have to do shrimp at cat liente but with a space i don't know why the space is not typing but shrimp at cat liente and then it would pull target my information or the info from whoever you added. Now this this variable is a little bit tricky and again it generates a random number that you can preset and other uh, bot commands or other bot systems would also have a, a variable that could do this as well. So the way it works in Streamlabs is it's ran, ran dot nu, uh, ran num dot and then two numbers. The first number is the minimum range. So the smallest number that you could possibly uh, RNG from this command is a zero and then hyphen and then you set the maximum so this is the largest number that somebody could get so i just arbitrarily made a 16. so the way this command works is if you type exclamation mark shrimp then it would say cat Lente's shrimp is and then it would randomly select a number from zero to 16 and then put that number in place of this variable so then it would say like cat Lente's shrimp is 
16 inches long as an example it would just randomly pull a number and again i have this permission set for everybody so everyone can use this one a similar one that i have is one for brain cells exclamation mark brain cells and again it's user.name so it will pull your username and then it would rng a random number again with a minimum value of zero in the highest value of 1000 brain cells left so it would say something like Cat Liente has and then randomly pulls a number between 0 and 100. So it would say 1,000. So like Cat Liente has 1,000 brain cells left. And that's how this command works. Okay, and then this is really complicated, but hopefully I can explain how to set up this format of command. But this command that I'm referring to is where you increment a number by using a command. So I used to have this in my channel, but then I took it off for using channel points instead because it was easier. But the way it worked is it's the roast me command. This is when um, I do stream roast every single Saturday, 8 p.m. PST. I will roast people's streams in my stream. And this is how I kept track of it for a while. The way this command works is it will increment a number and then it would or it would increment and count a number and it would constantly add to that number. But it also had a separate command that could reset the number back down to zero. So it takes three commands to do this. So hopefully I can explain this because it's a little bit tricky. I suck at coding. I only know how to code in Python very barely. I took one class at Berkeley on it and I forgot everything. And I also got a, like a B minus in that class. So it's not like I really learned anything, but we're going to try. Again, the way this command works is if you use this command exclamation mark roast me, it would say, for instance, if I use it, Cat Liente wants a stream roast, stream roast position. And then it would say, um, it starts at zero, but if I use the command, it would count stream roast one. So it would input the number one. It starts off at zero and then it would increment up, I believe. So it would say like stream roast position and then zero. And then because I use the command, it would count this command once. So the next person to use this command, it would be like Pokemon wants a stream roast, stream roast position. And then because it counted, it would say one. And then next, let's say, I don't know, Ludwig were to use this and say Ludwig wants a stream roast, stream roast position two. And it continues to increment that last number, the stream roast position upwards until I reset the number back down to zero. So in order to set up a command like this, first you need to make a placeholder variable that will count up. So I have one called stream roast and it is set at zero. Like the, it, the number is literally just a zero. So it's one command exclamation mark stream roast and the response is just that number and that's it. And then with the roast me command, I have user.name wants a stream roast, stream roast position, count stream roast. And then it would count how many times stream roast has been called. Yeah, so right here is the counts um, and the name. This pulls the name of a command. So the way this works is um, it increments the counter by one and displays it. Oh, my bad. So stream roast would start at one, not zero. My bad, my bad. But yeah, so it would like, for instance, you should deaths dot count deaths and then deaths would equal two. Um, that mean that meant that deaths has been called twice. The first person to use this command, it would say cat Lanty wants a stream roast, stream roast position. And then it would, it would count stream roast and then add one to it. So since stream roast is zero, it would add one. So stream roast now becomes one. And then this variable would output the number one. And then now stream roast becomes one. So the next person that were to use this command, it would output their username, which is what this variable does. And then say one's a stream roast, stream roast position. And then it would call this variable. And then this variable would count stream roast, which is now one. And then it would add one to it. So now it becomes two. And then it would output the number two. And then again, if it were to keep going, it would, the next person to use this, Ludwig wants a stream roast, stream roast position, it would count stream roast, and now it's two, because two people have called stream roast, me and Pokemane, and then it would say it's two, add one to it, becomes a three, and then it would output the number three. So it would say Ludwig wants a stream roast, stream roast position three, and it would continue counting upwards from there. I have another command called reset sr, which will reset the number down, back down to zero. So it counts stream roast and then zero. So what this means, what this variable does is 
count stream rows so it takes it takes the commands and then it it makes it it, it turns stream rows whatever that number was into whatever number I chose here, which I chose zero. So when I when I type exclamation mark reset sr, let's say you know me Pokemon and Ludwig has used that command, stream roast is now three. But if I type reset sr, given this variable, it would take it from a three and then turn that into a zero. So now stream roast goes back to zero. And then if the next person were to use this command, then again it would count stream roast and it would see that it's zero, add one to it, and then output the number one. Okay, I really hope this makes sense because I'm not good at coding whatsoever and I'm trying to explain how to code, or like that's a little bit of coding, just like a wee bit of like coding knowledge, plus like how to use the variables and I suck at explaining these, these things because I'm not good at it. So hopefully it makes sense, but if it doesn't make sense, I mean, you can just like copy and paste. Okay, anyways, if you found this video helpful, please let me know, please comment down below. And if you really liked it, I appreciate it if you subscribed and liked the video because you know, I'm trying my best out here, okay? Like I'm posting three YouTube videos a week and streaming five days a week and posting three TikToks a day and three Instagram reels a day and it's taking up a lot of time. So I would appreciate it so much. And if you guys really liked it, I would appreciate it if you checked me out on Twitch because I also stream on Twitch and it's what I really, really, really love to do. And I hope to see you guys in another video. Peace.